It's that time of the day, friends. It's Chris Yost, lead pastor here at Wesley. I wanted to uh, pick right up where we left off yesterday, Proverbs chapter 2, starting at verse 11. And uh, again, this is uh, Solomon writing to the child uh, to listen to wisdom. And there's a thin layering where wisdom also is calling out in general to the children of God. Um, it's going to open up uh, in verse 12. And it starts with the word it, and it's referring to wisdom. It will save you from the way of evil, from those who speak perversely, who forsake the paths of righteousness, to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice in doing evil, who delight in the perverseness of evil, those whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. You will be saved from the loose woman, from the adulteress with her smooth words, who forsakes the partner of her youth and forgets her sacred covenant. For her way leads down to death and her paths to the shadows. Those who go to her never come back, nor do they regain the paths of life. Therefore, walk in the way of the good and keep to the paths of the just. For the upright will abide in the land and the innocent will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the treacherous will be rooted out. The flip side of all of the wisdom that we heard about yesterday is that it is a strong warning against the ways of evil. Notice this isn't some, um, um, I guess you'd say, uh, outside evil. This is an existential thing. It's, in other words, um, there are people who live in this way, and my son, I'm warning you not to go and abide with those people. Um, there's an embodiment of evil purposes. Um, of course, certainly you'd point to the natures of adultery or this notion of the loose woman. Um, do you understand the nation of Israel? This is about following other ways of life that do not uh, follow the ways of God also. Um, in other words, uh, if you think about a covenant and a covenant relationship, a person who violates that covenant or goes outside of that covenant um, in the Old Testament sense would be adulterous to their covenant with God. In other words, um, their heart is divided among two interests instead of being solely focused in upon God's interests. Um, finally, this, this notion of um, pathways, um, being in the paths of the good and the just, you know, uh, the final destination of a journey is determined by each step along the way. Every path or every step you take along a path um, of righteousness is going to get you to a righteous destination. Every step that you take towards a devious path or on a devious path will get you to a devious destination. And that's what the psalmist is, or excuse me, the uh, Solomon is trying to convey. Um, life good, evil, they are steps that are taken. Wisdom will lead you in righteous paths. Um, Non-wisdom leads you in your own. Anyway, something to think about. Um, good and evil is a matter of life choices. It's a matter of how we live day in and day out. Let's pray. God, with the gift of life, you've um, imparted to us um, choices. You've imparted to us, God, the ability to select uh, where we would go. God, this world wants to automate everything. We automate um, virtually everything in our lives. So help us, God, to be reminded of what it is to be manually um, in charge of where we want to set our feet. Help us also to trust you that when we want to set our feet in the paths of righteousness, that you would guide us, that your Holy Spirit will inspire us and give us the divine nudge 
to keep us in your path and in your way. In Christ's name, amen.